Hi, I'm Leanne Kiefer. I'm a dental hygienist and I'm director of education for Crosstex International. When we begin to prepare our pouches, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to go back to that perforation, fold the tab over and just crease it because it's going to give it that memory so that when you pull the adhesive tab open, it's going to stay at 50% on the laminate, 50% on the paper. The next step that I would recommend that's often done at the very end is to go ahead and write the information on the pouch because it's easier to do it when the pouch is flat as opposed to after the instruments are in the pouch. It is also recommended that you write only on the laminate or if you want to write on paper, the paper should be only on the folded seal part. We should never be writing on the actual paper of the pouch. So the best place to write on is going to be at the bottom above where the seal closes. So you want to make sure that when you put it on, if I put it at the opposite end from the seal, I'm not going to have that problem that it might be covered up by the seal. There are some companies that manufacture medical grade markers. There is also a number of the Sharpie line that have been identified for use by ASTM standards. And so you'll know that if it has an AP symbol in a small circle on the end of the marker. So what information do we need to write on our instrument pouches? The information that you want to write is the date. We also need to identify the sterilizer that that pouch was placed into. And then the operator's initials need to be legibly written onto the pouch. Thank you.